In this video, we'll look at the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons, and the mass number for sodium. So sodium has a number of different isotopes. It really has one main isotope, but there are two other kind of minor trace isotopes. We'll talk more about those later. Let's complete our table though. So for sodium, on the periodic table, the atomic number is 11. So that's 11 for all isotopes of sodium. If it has 11 as its atomic number, it's sodium. An atomic number, that's the same number as protons. So if it has 11 protons, its atomic number is 11, and it is sodium. When we look at the periodic table, all of the elements, they're considered to be neutral. And what that means is their protons and electrons, they're going to be the same. They're going to be equal. So we could look at sodium here, 11 protons, 11 electrons. And again, that doesn't matter what isotope you have. So we've figured out the protons, electrons, and atomic number for sodium. So we said sodium's neutral. What that means is it's just going to be Na. If you see something like Na+, plus, that's an ion. That's not a neutral element. So we're only talking about in neutral elements, like the ones on the periodic table, protons and electrons are equal. So we've got that. Let's look at neutrons and mass number. So the different isotopes of sodium, the only thing that's different is they have different numbers of neutrons. And since protons plus neutrons gives us mass number, they'll have a different mass number also. So what we do, usually we're given either neutrons or mass number when we complete these tables. If you're not given it, go to the periodic table. We're going to look at the average atomic mass, and we're going to round that to a whole number. So this will become 23 as the mass number for sodium. Once we know the mass number, we can even name this sodium-23. The name here is based off the mass number. So let's find the neutrons. Mass number, 23, equals protons, which we said was 11, plus our neutrons. And we don't know the neutrons, so we'll call that x. So something plus 11 gives us 23, 12. So we have 12 neutrons. Most of the sodium, if you take a big sample of sodium, Almost all of the atoms will have 12 neutrons, and their mass number will be 23. There'll be some that are a little bit lighter. So if we think about it, when we get the average atomic mass, this is an average of all of the isotopes based on their abundance. Since this is close to 23, that means most of them are going to be 23. There are some, however, that are 22. Just a trace, but there are some of those atoms. This would be sodium-22 then. And we would say 22 equals 11 plus x. So this number would have to be 11 plus 11. That would give us 22. So this is an isotope as well. There are also just a trace that have a mass number of 24. So if we have 24, 13 plus 11 gives us 24. And we will call this sodium 24. So again, these are isotopes because they have different number of neutrons, but the same protons and atomic number. When we take the average of these based on their abundance, most of it's 23, we'll get the average atomic mass. Sometimes we want to write the notation for the specific isotope. This is an average of the three. If we want to write the notation for the specific isotope called nuclear notation, here's how we do it. We put 23, the mass number, up here and then down here we put the atomic number, 11. So this is sodium-23. If we did sodium-22, that'd be Na. And up here, we'd put the mass number, 22. And again, it's sodium, so it has to have an atomic number of 11. Then down here, let's do sodium-24. Na-24, 11. So that's the nuclear notation. It's another way to write it. This is a specific whole number. This is an average. This is Dr. B with the number of protons, neutrons, electrons, and mass number for sodium. Thanks for watching.